everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to change your skin in Minecraft 1.18. We're also going to be going over how you can find some skins, like really any Minecraft skin you want, on a website. And even I'm going to be linking out to a video that we made on how to make your own Minecraft skin. So it's all covered in depth in this video. We go over every single step of basically, you know, finding skins and then installing skins in Minecraft. So be sure to stick around and watch the entire video because uh, we're going to be dropping little nuggets of knowledge about Minecraft skins throughout this entire thing and how to fix any issues you may have with your skins. First and most though we do have much more sponsor which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. This is our very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. We love and just Apex so much that we host our own server. Play our breakdowncraft.com on them so you can check out Apex at the first link down below the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex to get your server up and running. Nevertheless let's go ahead and find some Minecraft skins. You can go to the second link down below and that's going to take you here. This is the skin decks where there are literally kind of any Minecraft skin you want. I mean hundreds if not hundreds of thousands if not millions of Minecraft skins on this website. One thing that I always like to search for is like a knight. I feel like that's a uh, pretty pretty common sort of Minecraft skin here. And this grand knight right here looks pretty good. So as you can see, one of the cool things about skin decks is you do have a decent model here. That's where you used to be able to like move them around. Maybe my browser's being weird. But nevertheless, you do see a model. There we go. You can see the model there and you can click and drag around and kind of see exactly what everything looks like. And to me, that looks good. So we're gonna come over here to the right hand side and click on this gray download button on Skindex and the skin will download automatically. At the bottom left of Google Chrome, you may have to save it on Mozilla Firefox, but it should download automatically on Chrome. Now, I did mention making your own skin and this is our video on how to do that. That's the third link down below. Kind of blows my mind that nearly 1 million people have made their own Minecraft skins with this video. So go check it out if you wanna create your own Minecraft skin. It goes in depth. It is a really, really good video. As you can see, 11 minutes, and like I said, over a million people, or nearly a million people, have made their own skins with it. Nevertheless, though, at this point, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here we are in the Minecraft launcher. Now, one of the cool things, like I said, we're going to be dropping different knowledge about skins. You, used to, you had to go to the website. If you're a Minecraft player from like 1.12, 1.13, you had to go to the website to change your Minecraft skin. Now, you can open up the Minecraft launcher. It's just the default normal Minecraft launcher that we all use to launch up Minecraft Java Edition. That's where you're going to change your skin these days. And you're going to do that by once the launcher is loaded up, clicking the little skins icon right up here at the top. It's pretty easy to find right up here at the top. Minecraft Java Edition is skins. Now in here, you'll find all sorts of different skins. And what's great is you can easily change between skins. So we go ahead, add a new skin here. I'm going to name this Knight because this is a Knight skin. And then we want to go ahead and browse the file. Now for me, it's going to be found in the downloads folder. And to do that, you can click on the left-hand side. Yours may not be pinned here. And if it's not, you can search up here in the top right, type in downloads, and then move the file to your desktop to be able to find it easier. But for me, I do have access to my downloads right over here on the left-hand side. So we go ahead and double click on the PNG file. And boom, just like that, the skin is selected. You can then go ahead and change your uh, your model, whether you want the slim or classic model in Minecraft. And then do you want a cape? And if you have multiple capes, which one do you want? Well, I think this knight looks pretty snazzy with the uh, basically migrator cape, which is the cape you get for converting your account to a Microsoft account and uh, looks good. So let's go ahead and click save and use in the bottom right. When we do that, it's going to activate the skin, but it doesn't mean we can't activate other skins as well. For example, on the right hand side, we have Patrick's skin, right? So we can go ahead and click on that and switch to that. If we want a default skin, we can come over here and click on that. It's pretty simple. Then if I want my own old skin back, I can go ahead and click on new skin here and name it, you know, like Nick's skin, right? So I can go in here and change it to Nick's skin, browse the file, and right here it is. That's the classic skin. I'm actually gonna go with this kind of updated skin that we had a few years ago. Look at that. And uh, yeah, there we go. So we can do that. We can select the cape, all of that stuff, save and use. And now we have my skin and we have the night skin and we can switch back and forth between them. Nevertheless, though, we're going to go ahead, select the night skin here, come back over to play and jump into Minecraft. No reason. You guys watching Minecraft open up. So we're going to go ahead, do a quick jump cut and I'll meet you in game. And here we are. Minecraft is now open. We got the awesome pure BD craft resource pack installed. Go ahead and click on multiplayer and jump into the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play it breakdowncraft.com where it is where it's raining, um, P, P, P weather clear. Go ahead, just do that. Um, nevertheless, here we are in game, and if we go ahead and hit F5, we can swing around and take myself out of V and take the head off. There we go, boom. We are now on this custom skin, and we can uh, we can FOV in. Look at that. Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? This is the night skin. And if you wanted to change this real quick, you'd simply disconnect, close out of Minecraft, open up the Minecraft launcher again, click on 
up here at the top, that skins button, and then we want to go ahead and select my skin that everybody kind of knows and loves. Oh, it says unable to activate. So occasionally it will do that. And that's one of the things that I do hate about this system is if you save a skin in here, sometimes it won't be able to activate it like this one. And then sometimes it'll randomly work. So as you can see, what I did there is I switched from the night skin back to, or to Patrick's skin, back to my skin, and then boom, it works perfectly fine. So it's kind of weird. Sometimes it's a bit buggy. And if you do run into that issues, don't be afraid to click around and stuff like that to get the skin to load. But now we have the skin selected and we can launch right back into Minecraft. So again, quick jump cut just to show you that that is effective. The skin does switch and then we'll be good to go. So here we are. Minecraft is open. We can go ahead and jump back into a multiplayer. Best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Played our breakdowncraft.com. We can hit F5 again. Come out of V and there we are. Look at that. Looking good. If we go ahead and change that FOV out a little bit, that way you can see the entire skin. You can see that it is in fact updated and looking snazzy. You can even see the back there. Look at that. Awesome stuff. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more incredible content every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. And come play with us on PlayerBreakdownCraft.com. It's a pretty awesome Minecraft survival server. I'm currently on a test server, but there are tons of players online and ready to play at any moment. So nevertheless, come play with us at PlayerBreakdownCraft.com. That's going to be in the description down below. Anyway, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'm out. Peace.